Well, hey, everybody. This is Chris DiFurio with Keys to the Shop. Welcome to another edition of Shift Break. Today's episode is brought to you by the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer from Voga Coffee. It's a revolutionary brewer that is taking batch brew coffee to the next level. And I'm not saying that lightly. I've tasted what this machine can do. And many other coffee shops all around the world are experiencing the kind of flavors that this machine with its SCA award-winning technology can unlock from their coffee. It's like getting to know your coffee all over again. It's truly amazing. And pardon the pun here, but it's not only a groundbreaking a brewer, but it's also a very versatile piece of equipment, making your business versatile as well, because it can brew hot chocolate, it can brew tea, batch cold brew, and batch dice lattes, as well as game-changing batch brew coffee. So if high quality and versatility is something you're looking for for your business, then I highly advise you to check out the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer from Voga Coffee. You can find out more information about how to get this in your store by visiting their website, vogacoffee.com. That's V-O-G-A coffee.com. Today's episode is also brought to you by Espressly. Espressly creates amazingly functional, beautifully designed, custom branded mobile apps for your business. They work with independent coffee shops to create this connection between the experience that your customers love and the convenience of a mobile app. And these options for your business are going to stay around for a long time. Mobile ordering is something that has just become further cemented into the retail coffee landscape. And working with Espressly to create your own branded app really sets you apart because it, again, delivers that experience that you've worked so hard at creating for your customers And you don't have to sacrifice anything when it comes to mobile apps when you're working with Espressly. It's a no-risk model. There's no setup or development fees. This integrates with Square. It has a drive-through payment scanner, receipt and label printing capabilities, and you keep all the data. So this is a really winning combination. I really recommend you check them out. If this is something you want to learn more about for your store, go visit them over their website, Espressly.co. That's Espressly.co. Okay, everyone. Well, today I wanted to talk with you about something that I think might be a little bit um, counterintuitive in in this time, because right now I feel uh, so many of us are rushing and we are very, very busy uh, managing, you know, the second wave of lockdowns along with the holiday season. And the stress is still high for all of us. And we're continuing to try to dig ourselves out of what's going on around us. And slowing down might seem like we don't have the luxury to do that, but actually, if we don't do it, we won't make good decisions. Uh, We won't respond well. We won't have good reactions to things that are going on around us. Because if we're going fast, by definition, we can't see as much. And when there's so much going on around us, we need to be able to take more in. I know a lot of people are thinking about 2021, and I hear it all over the place where we just can't wait for this year to be over. And when January comes around, it's going to feel a lot like this year feels. Now, I'm not trying to take away any hope. I think collective hope actually, well, actualizes some of the intentions that we have to make it a better year. So I'm all for that. And I think we should continue to talk about having a better year and then take action on those things. But I think we need to make room to slow down in the way that we make decisions so that we can take all the information in. And a lot of what we have in specialty coffee now has come from rash decisions not made necessarily during times where there's a pandemic or or hardship, but just made out of the impatience of the moment. Uh, we are somewhat, organizationally speaking, impatient when it comes to our decisions, whether that is the fear of missing out or something else, but we'll make decisions based on not enough information, or we will make decisions because we just want to be done with a decision. We don't really like the idea of having an, a loose end out there. And so rather than sit with that and allow it to sort of marinate and, you know, 
become a little bit more well-rounded and and then make a decision. We just try to get it off of our plate. And I think we fall prey to that far too often when it comes to our goals and the punch list that we have for different projects. Barring any outside circumstance that is forcing us to make a decision on something uh, in a certain time frame, we determine the time frame in which we make decisions and the quality of those decisions, again, depends on how we've been able to slow down and take in the information around us to be able to inform what it is we decide. So if it's a menu item, a policy, a decision on whether you're going to say yes to a property or not, obviously the more gravity a situation has, the slower you want to make that decision. And part of the hustle culture that has grown up over the years has taught us that and, and not rightly, that we just need to act. It's basically shoot first and then aim later. That is not how sustainable and resilient businesses are built. I just think about back to our Founder Friday with Klaus Thompson of Coffee Collective in Denmark, where they have intentionally uh, grown their stores over the past 13 years to just seven. And I say just because we automatically assume that over 13 years, why wouldn't you want 13 stores, like a store a year. Again, you can read into this a lot of intention, a lot of slow decision making, making sure it's right for you and sitting with a problem or a decision for a longer time than you might be comfortable with uh, is something that I think we need to enter the new year with as a framework for decision making. So as we think about this new year and what hopes we have for it, let's consider that how we make decisions will largely determine the quality of the year we have. And if we can make those decisions slowly with good intention and the best information that's appropriate for where we are as businesses and people, the better our businesses and the year is going to be. So I hope that this was a helpful episode for you today, and I'll see you here next week on another edition of Shift Break, from keys to the shop.